The discussion for today is absolution. Most people in our culture nowadays absolve themselves of any responsibility in anything that takes place. Um, you know, in relationships, people are jealous or envious and deem it love. People have a job or have ambitions and the desires of their heart for their success in this world, they deem it necessary, like they are supposed to receive the things that they desire in their life. Life is a realm of balance. You can have and you cannot have. There's no one who is supposed to have or anyone who's not supposed to have anything. There aren't any true slaves and true masters. They're the people that recognize the position they could be in and decide what side they want to be on and what side they will accept. Even in the slave-master relationship, the slave is accepting the position of slave. But they absolve themselves and say, the master did it. The master took control of me. He took over my life. He, he came and he removed me from my place. Well, there are many people who died instead of becoming slaves. And most of us don't have the conviction to do so. So we absolve ourselves and say, no, I had no choice but to become a slave. I have no choice but to become a prostitute. Oh, he pimped me. He got into my head. Oh, oh, it's just business. We make excuses for the many things that we do that have no benefit to our existence. We absolve ourselves. We don't raise our kids properly, raise them up with lies, teach them. Know that we don't know the things that we need to teach them. But whatever it is we teach them, we decide for ourselves that it's enough. And then when they grow up and they don't have a clue about what's going on in their life, we absolve ourselves of the responsibility that we neglected them in their raising. Absolutely.